It's the final few seconds before the lights go out and the race to the podium begins. You know this battle will be won off the track as well as on it. You've studied your tactics, anticipated every move like a grand master. You've researched and analyzed, modified and fine-tuned to perfection. You have honed your instincts to give you an edge over your rivals. Your drivers focused, your team ready. The championship in the balance. First past the checkered flag, the goal. Epic victory or ultimate failure. Welcome back F1 Manager family to another F1 Manager video. Today we're going to be doing our GP rewards video. And then we're going to also take back a look at the 33% uh, percent tuning. As a lot of persons have been still asking uh, for me to explain the 33% tuning. So I'm going to do that after GP rewards. So stick around. Uh, for the rest of the video all right so here on the junior account as you can see we did well we managed to finish second place uh, in this GP on the junior account so let's go get our rewards and get our second place badge awesome second place in the challengers division Nice. Right, we got some hex. Down force. What epic we're gonna get? The stealth. Well, that's a waste. That's definitely a waste. Right, we managed to finish going up to Challenger Street. Alright, let's get these unlocked as well. Then we're gonna go and upgrade what we got from our GP crate. Then we switch over to the main account. Let's go upgrade what we got. We didn't get any drivers. I only got parts. And we got the still. Why couldn't we get something of use? Bungee, blinker, something like that. Oh well, that's how GP rewards are. Never put your hopes in GP rewards at all. Never put your open GP rewards, guys. That's what GP rewards are. Alright, let's switch over to the next account. And I'll be right back. Alright, here we are. So we managed to get ninth place with our 463 score while nobody in this GP scored uh, perfect that's crazy nobody scored perfect here so we managed to, to get ninth place with 463 there is also KJ all day managing to get 11th place with 462 well done KJ 
And let's see if there's anybody else that we know here. Alright, so that was a nice GP. And we managed to get ninth place. So we got in the top 10 here in the Super Champions. That's cool. Let's go collect our rewards. Top 10 badge, looking nice. That's a lot of coins. <laughs> Got some hex, 75 dead fast. Now just to go through the waste. Alright, we got the Lindo and the MSM. So that's just another waste again. Alright, we managed to stay above relegation this time around, so we're still gonna be in Champions Division. Let's go upgrade the Lindo and see uh, what we get. I think we're gonna get it up to level 4. Is it usable at level 4? Doubt it. Let's push through these crate. Let's put that one to unlock. Open these three crate real quick. So we don't have Hamilton in the shop. We should have checked the shop for our junior account to see if there was Lewis Hamilton there. And there's the Lindo. Let's go. Should be able to get it up to level 5. Oh, we need one more part to get it up to level 5. One more part to get it up to level 5. All right. All right. So that's it for the GP results. Now we're going to be going into the discussion of I'm going to be explaining now the 33% thing. All right. Uh, with the tunes. All right. So on the live stream, on the Hutch uh, developers live stream, I asked the question, what was the ratio between power, grip, and arrow and reliability? And jo Josie said it was it was 33%. That's all she was gonna tell me tell us. Uh, uh, we should go and figure it out. All right. So then 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 I went and I look. At first, I was looking at 33% as a whole. To say uh, 33 of 100% is 30. It's going to be 33. So uh, I was using the score of 33 at first. All right, but that's not the case. All right. So what you need to do is to use the percentage of uh, the percentage of the amount of power you have within the t within a tune. Uh, to find your cutoff area for your grip and your arrow all right so so let's say you have so let's say you have uh 43 power there so you then want to use 43 as your marker and then say 43 times 33 divide by 100 and you will get 14.19 all right so 14 so now to to get this tune to be uh in a perfect <clears throat> perfect position you want to put on 
something like this that are going to bring up the arrow and the grip and the power but this one does not bring up the arrow so you want to look for one that does not affect the power so you don't want to move the power at, at all you just want to move the arrow and the grip so let's see the dragon all right so the dragon all right so reliability didn't move uh, with the dragon there so you need to find a part that does not move the power but it moves the arrow and the grip all right now once you get your arrow and your grip and your reliability ab above that 14 mark your car is now in full balance uh, with the 33 law all right so once again you take into consideration let me show you all right let me let me let me let me go to to my main the main tune all right let me just go to a, a tune all right let's say let's look for a 80 tune let's go to this tune here that's going to be 80 80 so this used to be our old gp tune that we used to use all right so it's 80 power all right so if we take 80 times 33 divide that by 100 now we get 26 all right now so the key to get the tune to absolute balance all right is to also get that pit time down to 26.4 seconds so 2.64 seconds should be the pit time as well all right so if you move around some parts say you move around that and there you go the pit time is now down to 2.6462 seconds now at this point where the pit time is down to 2.62 seconds uh, your car is so balanced right now with this tune this setup right here is super balanced now if you take away take away uh 80 if we do 80 take away 80 take away 62 we should get a number close to 216 262 so we get 18 all right so we're a little bit off from that 20 26 mark uh with our grip here so we should try to add more grip, but it's not possible to use these parts to add more grip. This is where the epic parts are going to come into play to add more grip there. And if we take away the arrow, 52, that's going to left 28. So we're good on the side of the arrow. All right. But we should, yeah, we're good on, 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 on grip as well. I think the grip is over. A 26 mark so this is why we get 18 because we have more grip so a tune like this so you want to try once you figure out the the 33 percent of your power and once you get the pit time to reflect uh that amount of power the the the, the 33 percent result that you get then your tune now your main goal in the tune is to look to add more arrow and add more grip to the tune to make it even better and that's where the epic parts are going to come into play all right so that's basically how the 33 percent works all right let me go over that again all right so you take the 33 percent of whatever power you have let's say you want 90 power uh, let me see how we get 90 power again there's a setup there that gives us 90 power. It's going to give us 93. Uh, I think it's the base. All right, so this setup gives us 90 power. So if you take 90 and you times that by 33, divide that by 100, you're going to get 29.7. All right, so we, we want to try now to keep that 90 power and see if we can bring the pit time down to 29 as the pit time is a little bit above the tune here so we want to try and bring the pit time down to 29 
this is the lowest OP time that's gonna trust power that's gonna touch your power so to get the pay time down to 29 you'll have to have the smoke scream leveled up to the next level all right to have the smoke screen to get the pay time down to 29 the smoke scream would have to be leveled up to the next level to level four and that's going to bring the pit time down to 2.97 seconds or 2.9 something seconds and that's where it's going to be absolutely balanced all right so now you want to try an increase on your power and arrow your grip and arrow without touching uh your power all right because uh, if we take away let's see 90 take away 57 we get 33 so 33 is above 29 so that's good 90 take away 51 you get 39 all right so if we can increase so we want to increase our power and grip to a level where it's basically at 29 or below 29 to get it absolutely balanced out all right to get it absolutely balanced out that's what you want to do all right so that's exactly how uh the 33 percent law works and uh this is where the epics come into play at high level you need these epics at high level to use to get that absolutely balanced tune all right All right, let's go test. Let's do a quick race to test that 90 power. And see how, oh wait, we haven't select our drivers. And see how our drivers will perform uh, with that 90 power. Let's go Kimi here. And let's go Perez here. Also, uh, I know you guys are gonna ask about the GP badge. It will come eventually. It takes a little time sometimes to come. Sometimes it comes instantly. Sometimes it takes a little time to come in, but it will come in. All right, so don't too worry about that. All right. There we go. Nice top 10 qualifiers with 90 power. Though this tune at 90 power needs uh, grip and arrow to bring up to go. Uh, it needs the grip, more grip and more arrow. It's not exactly at a full uh, balance level as you can see. Still performing good. Kimi loving it, taking first place nice and early. Alban up in, up to seventh place, nice and early, gaining some positions. Not Alban, I should say Perez. So uh, based off of testing lately, uh, seems Perez uh, does better on a certain track than Alban, and it seems Perez uh, does better in Series 12 over Alban. All right, you know I'm a huge fan of using Albon in the game, uh, but Perez has been doing better than Albon in Series 12. So if you're in Series 12 and you're using your Albon, you should give Perez a try and see if he does better uh, than your Albon. All right. Lewis Hamilton trying to get around Kimi here. Kimi is defending. Let's go cinematic so we can enjoy the race. We're going to go back to pit here. Now let's go for a one stop since we have been conserving for the entirety of the race and we weren't boosting too much. We're going to go for a one stop cancel pit there. And go back to hard tires. Perez is going to run out of tires, but we're still going for it.
so this is the one stop on Spain if you guys uh, are looking for a one stop strategy on Spain this is it go four laps on soft tires and then you go back to hard tires and boost the last four laps on those hard tires G13 All right, so remember, let me know down in the comments how you guys did in your GP event. What rewards did you also get? Did you get your desired reward? Or did you get crap like I did? <laughs> I always seem to get crap in my GP crates for some strange reason. I don't know if if the game has something against me on the GP on my account. Maybe there's something against my accounts uh, where GP crates are concerned. Uh, but it's always crap for me in the GP crates. Every single GP rewards day, I'll be complaining. Uh, but that's just how it is. That's the GP rewards for you. Sometimes some persons get lucky, get like Lewis Hamilton and stuff like that. I'm never getting that lucky ever in this game. I have to get my Hamilton the hard way. Save bucks and buy him in the shop. <laughs> If I tell myself I'm gonna buy, let's say I have, let's say I have a thousand bucks, and I said, all right, let's buy four legend, four platinum crates. I can guarantee you, I would not get Hamilton in none of them. And then, like after I spend that thousand bucks, like the next day, he'll be in my shop. I can trust me on that one. You can trust me on that one. That's how it works for me. All right. So remember, to leave a comment down below uh, to let me know. Uh, how you did in your GP event. Also, the code word for today is going to be 7th. Uh, congratulations again to Lewis Hamilton. So leave code word 7th uh, down below to show support to Lewis Hamilton's 7th World Championships. Awesome. Really living legend in F1 Manager. Lewis Hamilton. Yep, so... Code word 7 down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. And yeah. There we go, 1-4. So that's the the laws of the 33 so you guys can use that to your advantage and find your best tune and yeah that's going to be it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace